For those of you who saw my last vlog, which was corporate interviews in Miami and stylistic B-roll, that was yesterday, that was a few hours ago. So now, it's morning, um, in the Best Buy parking lot, I just bought a hard drive, I'm transferring the footage right now before I go to a FedEx, ship it to the client, and then continue up the four hour drive to Tallahassee to film for another local mixed martial artist promotion. When I deliver the footage, I copy the entire card. That way, there's no mistake, everything from the card is on here. I don't just put the clips folder in. Also, I like to add this Word document, and basically with the Word document, it just gives the editor some details to go off of. When you're given a hard drive with unfamiliar footage, it slows you down so much to figure everything out. So hopefully the editor will grab this, open up the Word document, say, oh, it's this project, this subject, C log two, great. I'll put that LUT on long op. I'll probably need a proxy. And here's my audio configuration. So he doesn't have to figure out oh, which one sounds better, which one, everything's already in here. So try to help out the editor just a little bit and add that into the hard drive. So we made it an hour early and that actually proved to be very helpful they couldn't find the the list for approved media members but it was no stress getting there early is always a good idea um so here is the the house uh av company who is controlling the lighting controlling the um i don't think they're controlling the live stream but i decided to go outside and grab some b-roll of the long line just to get the exteriors and it is a packed house once they open up. So they have elevated tiered seating, which is really nice because normally uh, watching a fight is, is hard to see. I thought this was amazing. Their, their mobile cam is an iPhone with a power bank below it. And then some type of connectivity, either Bluetooth or I don't see a transmitter on there. But that is actually being um, fed live. You can see in that screen back there, or maybe in this screen. Yeah, you can see here, that is the mobile cam. Just an iPhone, perfect, easy. I, I really like that solution rather than putting a HDMI transmitter on a bigger camera and this is just easy and works. So that, that was really cool. Um, I was able to uh, put my gear behind here, which was nice, keep it safe. They have a couple of uh, two live streaming cameras on top. And as always, when you're uh, at, at the bottom of the octagon, it is hard to get a good angle. It, it's, it's always hard and you're always blocking someone's way. So, and those people pay a lot of money. Um, here is a guy I met, Joe. He had a pretty red dragon there and he had a team. So this guy, Dean in the back is on a Raven and there was a another lady on a komodo so here we are with this tiered seating i'm not in anybody's way which is really really nice um because you don't want to get in people's way but you do want to get the shot so i'm on my c70 he's on his raven we both have small hd 502 monitors which is interesting to just see that kind of standardized monitor for um, people who are at a higher level than i am um, Dean is a pretty cool guy. I looked at his Instagram. Uh, he does some really interesting stuff and, you know, always an opportunity to network. Okay, this was extremely annoying. I have uh, the, the SD cards that are rated for 4K 120 from Angelbird. And on, on one specific card, I've gotten errors. And this time I got errors again. It, it canceled recording and had to buffer. So I'm emailing them. Um, to see if they can do anything about it. So I had to drop codec, I had to drop frame rate, I had to use different cards. It was a nightmare, honestly. Um, but I, you know, that's why you bring backup cards, that's why you format them before you arrive. And another thing I like to do is I, I set up my entire camera before, the night before. So that means everything from frame rate, codec, log, uh, picture profile, everything is set up before. This was cool, they are monitoring the live stream on an iPad. I thought that was uh, really cool. They, they might even be switching.
from the iPad. So there's the Komodo right there. Joe has the uh, the Dragon, and I believe he just upgraded to a Helium as well. So really cool night, very fun. Leaving the following morning, uh, I decided to stop off at the springs. There's a lot of springs uh, in that North Florida area, so might as well take advantage. Um, the, the hotel was a little uh, different than I'm used to, so I wanted to go to the springs and rinse off, wash. It was freezing, but really fun. Um, talking a little bit more about the Sony decision. So a lot of people hit me up in the comments and also DM'd on Instagram giving their thoughts, which I really appreciate. Um, some are FX6 owners, some are uh, people who switched from Canon to Sony, and it was really nice to hear that that insight. Um, I I think that's going to be the decision. I'm pretty confident in, in moving over, uh, but it only happened once an FX6 is available. I need a switch from A cam to A cam. So I will use the C70. I love the C70 until then, but once that does present itself, uh, I'll take advantage of it. This week, we're going to do some more, more retainer videos. I was just checking my phone and I got onto a job for my buddy's production company doing time lapses for an aviation company, or, or I think it's actually an airport. Um, so that is happening in two weeks. Uh, no word back yet from the, from the uh, first music festival, if I can switch on to that one, but I think they're having budget cuts as well. So, um, and I got another inquiry from, from that job that I had uh, doing just B-roll at a conference of the setup. That company out of Texas just sent me another email saying, hey, we're thinking of doing like a week-long time lapse. Can you make this happen? And so I'm, I'm looking at what they want. It, I, I really need to think it over because um, I would pr be producing the whole thing. No, no one's here. Uh, they're all in Texas. So I'm, I'm looking at that to see if it's feasible for me to accept the job, but I'm sure uh, they would take a, a pretty decent budget for that. So um, a couple new jobs in the works, um, and I'll make a vlog whenever I do them. I can't make this up. As soon as I finish recording, I just get a text from the marketing agency who is hiring me for the music festivals. They said um, they will get back to me about the, the first music festival. So that's good to know that that could still be in the work. And then two, they uh, are asking about uh, availability in November. So potentially I would have three dates with them, so beginning of September, end of September and November and I don't even know what the November project is but it, it's good to be on your phone and, and being fast with communication um, also if you want to know how I record these I use this as a love so that's how the audio comes in